maybe more lucky in this one. Mm. Yeah, they. All right, much better. Mm, nice. Much better. Filled with. Sort yeah, of this is a nicely descended mm. one. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Forty-two. Ten is up. All right, so. So this is an elderly gentleman with acute cholecystitis. He has cardiac history, so we're going to do a USGB. Come. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so two places to do it, which is one is antrum and the second one is uh, duodenum. So let's see. Duodenum, uh, bulb is the location and then I'm going to go and rotate the scope. So you're looking at the pancreas, this is the head of pancreas, and then uh, and then as we turn around, that's a cystic, and then this is going to open into the gallbladder, but I'm not getting a great window, right, over here. So I actually prefer, um, frankly, antrum a lot more for gallbladder stenting. So now here we are back in the antrum, and then you can see uh, it's a pretty good view of the gallbladder, there, right? It's good. I'm at 9, so I'm going to mag it up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So antrum, uh, the position looks fine. So a few things to consider is what size of the stent do you use. So that sort of depends on the, size of if the I have to, you know, remove stones. Because okay. if you have a large stone, mm. you have to have adequate stent diameter because you have to do cholecystoscopy in future. Mm. In this particular case, I don't see any large stone, yes. so it's a lot of sludge, sludge yes. smaller stones if anything, and then that's, it's pretty bright, so it is mm -hmm. hyperechoic, which is suggestive of pus, okay. so I, will, I can guarantee you when you put it, you'll see pus coming out, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So that's one, and the second thing is, uh, so that's why I'm going to choose a, you know, I can use a 15 or a 10, I think 10 will suffice the purpose, so I'm going to do a 10 today. Okay. Sir, Next, how, much, how yeah? much distance do you need from the uh, gastric ball? Like well, so one centimeter, right? Because Axios uh, okay. is one centimeter in its length. Uh, length. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So this is the gastric wall, right. and this one here is the gallbladder wall, and then we go down, and this is about six point seven mm. so, so it's not a lot, uh, and this is fine. It's less than one centimeter. One centimeter. So that's the second yes. consideration. Mm. Third consideration is the stability of your scope, and uh, what we want to do. Is sort of dig it in and it's stable. So when you're pushing the stent, you're not in an unstable position. Mm. And obviously a vascular vein. Yes. So that vessel in front of me is what, yes. it's a big enough vessel that I don't want to hit, yes. right? So you have to balance scope stability, presence of vessels while you're considering this. Can I have a 10mm stent ready? And also all of this goes a little out of the window once you get the, you know, uh, stent in the okay. scope. Because with a stent, the scope becomes very stiff. Mm. That's the other thing. Okay. You know. So let's see. We come here, and then the stent is going to come at 7 or 8 o'clock-ish. Right? Okay. So okay. even if there's a vessel here, I'm OK. Let's see where the stent comes from. Yeah. 10 mm, right? The second, so do you want it to be more towards the neck and less towards the fundus? Like, is that also... Yeah, I mean, of course, there would be some ideal considerations based on the plans in future. Uh, okay. But here's like you the want it to be stability, in the, the avascularity, the distance. Mm. So those are, are your prerequisites. I mean, once that's achieved, then based on the stone and maybe the angles for you to get it, I don't do along the lesser curvature. That's one place I don't like to do. I would not recommend doing lesser curvature. Okay. Because from there, any cholecystoscopy is very hard. Antrum is okay. Padded, guys? Okay. No, 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 no. Padded below? Sure? Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out here, and I'm going to push it out to see where it's coming from. I'm not doing any cautery, and it's, see, it's coming from here. Mm -hmm. This is obviously not a good place yeah. because of so many vessels here, right? So I'm not going to touch that. Come out, okay? Then let's find another spot. Now here we don't have a challenge of distension. It's absolutely adequately distended yes. area. The problem is vessels. And we have to find a good avascular path. And that, unfortunately, as it happens, the Sometimes. vessel has to be in your perfect position. <laughs> 
so life is not easy it's going to make it harder for me the other option sometimes you can do is get the patient's position changed if that helps you know try was here thank you that's the other thing to do uh, i'm going to try here and see where we are no 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 this maybe somewhere there yeah you see maybe somewhere there mm. that little bit of vessel we can live with that much cuz anyways the you know stent is going to cause some tamponade effect yes right and uh, i i think this is see it's not a great position yes. but this is probably my only best bet okay cuz the moment i turn counter clockwise i see these large vessels coming here right and more uh, more and it's pulsatile so yeah and well, i can't touch there maybe here let's see so i i think the exercise is obviously to find that perfect spot over there you need to pull it up and see because you don't want to squish the vessel and then you don't um get a you know then you assume that there is no vessel there is, but no vessel, there is vessel here right so this is this vessel i have to avoid so i'm going to push the scope be in a more stable position if you're unstable no then it's a mess right because yes. suddenly you put the stent and your scope's yes. away and you, know, right. you can cause a big problem there so stability is another very very important i can go across a small vessel but i'll have a more but if it's a more stable position i'll choose that as opposed to you know avoiding this so there you go there you go so i'm going to push the scope in make it more stable tent it up a little bit no too much vessel right mm -hmm. here yes again over here so this is my only bet a little unstable so, well not unstable but more count uh, more torque on the more scope uh, but i think we are fine there okay let me just choose the runway for a moment how much is the runway and to sort of we can form and we are by 2.3 wait not bad. Okay. okay yeah So ready please connect yes okay and this is a little torque so let's see whether the stent comes out ready 1 2 3 ready so we're in so across to the opposite wall okay done okay remove that remove this thing here so i've done the lock the first one and then step 2 is perfect right Yes. bang or yeah. for room yes okay and then uh, now i've done two yes. now we have to get the stent position right so you're looking at the screen it's there and then i'm going to pull it up and now i've got a decent access it's a little obtuse uh, not more much more than that this much is enough okay and i'm going to stop here and lock this thing okay yes and the reason i'm doing that is because uh, it's a thick wall it's almost 1 cm at that area and now i'm going to do the intra channel deployment lock mm. this so that you don't mess up okay. this is the intra channel deployment and i'm going to go ahead and deploy and done intra channel done, done. stent position not changed it's in locked position here now i'm going to unlock it put some co2 and down yeah okay there you go and then now gently pull the scope back because now you're going to you see on the fluoroscopy the yes. scope is beta kami fluoro kana bas okay mm. it's fine So the scope is in a loop position. So when mm -hmm. I pull the scope out, you may just yank the. So you don't want to do that. Just a little bit of maneuver to be away from the wall, okay. but not removing the entire scope. Okay, and then I'm going to push, and I'm seeing the stent. I'm going to do a little maneuver here, counterclockwise. There you done. go. Pass. Pass. Lower to pass. All right. Okay. So that's it. so that's the way you do it, and uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Now one thing, you don't want that thing to yank the stent out. Yes. Uh, the introducer spot. No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. All well, the family. So we'll put a stent through this also. No. Ah, uh, pigtail placement is a plus minus thing. Ah, uh, in this particular case, I'm not. Okay. Ah. Uh, So yeah, why would you do it? Is for two reasons. One, to reduce migration. Yes. Uh, and second reason is to 
prevent any obstruction from a stone that's inside. Yes. Now in this particular case, uh, there is no big that. stone. Right. So that's a concern for me. Okay. And uh, migration, yes, Antrim is a higher propensity for migration. So Antrim would be the right place, technically. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to call him back in three to four weeks. Uh, that's a, you know, it doesn't okay. migrate in three four weeks. Okay. So right now I don't feel the the strong need to put an additional plastic to kill through it. Mm. But in select cases I do because okay. they have stopped doing that. Okay. So oh, oh should we should culture it? Can we culture it? Pass culture. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Now, screen pe dekha dete. Aye. वो स्टैंड दिख रहा है अंदर देख रहे हैं आपको जाली है ना स्टैंड जाली जाली है ना इधर भी देखो ऊपर देख रहा है पस निकल रहा है सारा मवाद है ना अब ये लैटिन के रास्ते सब निकल जाएगा हो जाए ठीक है रुक जाइए हाँ ओके सो विल यू डू रिपीट लाइक व्हेन विल यू डू रिपीट इमेजिंग नाउ टू डेज थ्री ड Next it's just a uh, quick sonography to see. Fine. Okay. You don't expect any problem. It was a smooth procedure, straightforward. So it should be okay. You got the culture? Enough, right? Okay. Oh, lovely. Golf bladder series के लिए और एक आ गया। सुबह का नहीं हो पाया, but ठीक है। ये तो हो गया at least। ठीक पस। If it's too thick and you feel like it's going to occlude, then the other reason I would do something about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to slowly expand and open the, you know, the stent will. Give me a, a sort of a catheter, now, please. Yeah. No, I don't want to see if it's off, off. if there's any debris which is. Off. That would be the other reason to put it because I don't want anything to occlude. Okay. Or. Okay. The scent will it'll open. Yes. Sir. But I want to make sure nothing is occluding it. That's it. It's like other things. Like some people dilate the stent. I don't. On the first sitting itself. No. 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 I don't like to dilate it. Yeah. Just give me a cannula. Thank you. Hmm? Uh, I just want to put a cannula and see. I want to see if it's closed or open. No, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, great. My angle is pretty messed up. Okay, that. All right, beta, the pakro. Okay. There's stuff there. Maybe. Seven French, no? Like big deal. Seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven, seven French. French. You see, ten French is going to be may Super. just obstruct, and if it gets stuck, then you are in another problem. Yes. Because then a newly placed stent, and you don't uh -huh. want to um, get yeah, any so have any uh -huh. problems with that. Okay. So yeah, you see now on the US view, that's the stent, and the material is very thick inside. Mm. That's the stent. Mm. That's all the material inside. Oh, against my initial plan, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this, you know. 
Okay, wire please. Seven French double pigtail, okay? Yes, what? Okay, let's change. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's the poem patient to quick endoscopy to see. Hmm? I'll go and see. I'll do poem endoscopy. Then I have a plan in place. Only GJ and uh, poem is left now. Partly as like I do all of the, the primary problem is that collected separated collection. Mm. So you know you do one intervention, you know, take some time, do anesthesia, and this gets worse. Yeah. So that's why I said we let's just uh, focus on the primary problem. Mm. Yeah. 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 So the battle is the best style as of now. Yes. If it was really straightforward in a big runway, maybe I would have just done it. Mm -hmm. But I knew that for me it would require maneuvering, extension, take a risk of re-perforating okay. that gallbladder which has a thickened wall. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe in a few weeks from now, when that gallbladder settles and the inflammation subsides, mm -hmm. then uh, okay. my comfort level of distending the gallbladder will be more. Yes. Because what happens is, in my earlier days, I did a, well, in the US I did a, extension of the gallbladder okay. which was very adventurous because I got a needle and then I pump connected to the water pump okay. and distended the gallbladder. Okay. Endoscopically? Yeah. yeah. And, and it perforated. Because oh. <laughs> I put 100 cc or whatever and used a pump and boom. My god. Total mess. Perforated GB oh god. in a high risk surgery occasion. So then since then I, I know that I'm not taking unnecessarily, you know. Second mark. Okay, good. Mm. All right, done. Well, as far as location and where should you stent it is concerned, no? The thing is, uh, If you are planning a cholecystoscopy, then it is very relevant. Lesser curve, I, I say don't do it because in our experience, we've tried in lesser curvature and it was uh, not endoscopy. Now we can stop the sedation. Yeah. 